Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel TechSub. So today's tutorial is all about how we can do a uh, build and release pipeline in uh, DevOps for a C Sharp MS test project. So I have already created the project with a uh, four test, test method one, two, three, and four. So uh, uh, in that three will pass and one will fail. So it's just uh, to show how we can uh, set up the build pipeline and release pipeline in Azure DevOps for running this test. So it's just a normal test. I haven't done any browser setup and all those things. So it's just to uh, uh, make sure that it runs in the pipeline. And for this, actually, I am using a project config.run settings file. So uh, that uh, I, uh, that's one of the uh, things that I have added to the project. And I have pushed it, this to uh, GitHub. So my repository is the GitHub only. So this is the basic project setup. Then I will be moving on to my uh, uh, DevOps. So this is my DevOps. So first I will be going to my uh, pipeline, build pipeline. So this is the build pipeline. So if I go to the pipeline that I have created, I will just click on edit. So I will be having my artifact from my uh, GitHub. So because since my repository is Git, so you can see I have already uh, taken the source from GitHub. I have given my uh, token of the GitHub and I have connected it. Then I am doing the NuGet restore. So as you all know, I'll be uh, getting all the pa all the uh, packages in the package.config file to the to my VM machine where I will be building my project. So it's based on. So I have given the solution and the command is restore. Then I am building my project. So here also I have given my solution. You can just click on these three dots and you can select the solution. And the Visual Studio version is also uh, you have to give. Then artifacts, then you have to publish these artifacts. So the path to publish you can actually select anywhere. But uh, what, where I have selected is like I have selected inside my uh, test project folder. And then I have given it in a name called drop then the artifact publish uh, location. So either it can be a file or a Azure pipeline. So why we are preferring the Azure pipeline is like we can use the same pipeline in the release. So the artifact will be there in that Azure pipeline. That means this build, build pipeline will uh, publish the artifact into uh, the Azure pipeline. And we can take this artifact from the Azure pipeline in our release. So that's why we are giving it as Azure pipeline. So this is the basic setup. So I will go to my uh, my pipeline. Then I will click on it and I will just run this pipeline. So you can see the uh, task have started. It's waiting for an agent to pick up the okay, so now it has started so I will just pause it for now because uh, let it do some tasks then I will uh, start it so you have you can, you can restore build solution publish artifact all those things so I'll be pausing the video okay so now you can see the build solution is completed and the artifact is also published so that's it that it's got completed so I'm going to my, uh, uh, the you can see it's two, the second uh, uh, time that I have run this pipeline. And you can see the one uh, artifact is published. So if I click on one artifact, I can see what are the details that got published. So that's about the build pipeline. Now I will, I'll be going to the release pipeline. So I have something called the DevOps release. Okay, so I'll be editing this DevOps release. And so you can see that in the artifact uh, section, I am taking it from my uh, build pipeline. So you can see it's from the build pipeline. So uh, so that's one of the thing that uh, we have to add in the artifact. And the name, all those things comes directly from here. So you have to uh, select the correct build pipeline. And after that, you have to select the task. 
so I have added the Visual Studio Test Platformer. So if you're hundred percent sure that the VM that you are running is having the Visual Studio Test Platform installer or the Visual Studio, then you don't have to add this West, uh, Test Platform installer because it is like it's providing a platform to you to run your test cases. It will be giving something the same uh, same platform that you have installed a Visual Studio. So if it is already installed, don't go for this Visual Studio Test Platform installer. If it is not installed, then you need to have this task. In this, you have to give the version as the latest stable. Then we have something called the test assembly. So in here only actually the test case runs. So you have three options like you can run it using test assembly, then test plan and test run. So if you are using the test assemblies, then you have to give the DLL of the project. So that means that your project will be name created with some name. So at the time of build, it will be creating a DLL with that project. So mine is like test projects to DLL so that I have given it directly here. Then these whole things are uh, pre-populated. And if you are uh, having a run settings file, then in the settings file, you have to select the run settings file. So here you have to click on the drop uh, this uh, browse option and you have to give the run settings so that is the basic settings that you have to give so then I am just going to click on the release so I'm just starting my release so release 3 has been started Since my project is a very small project, I don't think it will take that much time. So you can see Visual Studio Test Platform Installer. It's trying to install the actually all the things that you need the Visual Studio Test to run in that machine. That is completed. And now it's going to the test assemblies where the actual test will be running. So you can see start a test execution and so you can see the result also. So it failed because as I already told there will be one failure and three pass. So if you go to the test, so you can see four, three pass and one test. So you will be only showing the failed here. You have to click on this about uh, this drop down and click on pass so it will start showing uh, the test cases passed and failed. And if you want to get more details, go to test plan, click on the runs. So it will show the details of the releases that ran. And so this will be your, and just click on it. So it will be giving more details of the test cases that you ran. And along with that, since you ran it from the Visual Studio, uh, you will be getting something called as .trx file with the more details. So that's pretty much about how you can uh, run uh, the build and release pipeline in Azure DevOps. So thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye.